I was asked to give a short history of Grandma's life for those of you who didn't have the pleasure of knowing her. Grandma was born in 1919, 101 years ago. She was the oldest child to her parents, Miriam and Yechezkel Shlomo Perlstein. She was also the first granddaughter to her grandparents, Meir and Hannah Tova Berman. The whole family lived in New York City. Her grandfather, Meir, believed that the whole family should live near each other, and so they did. When Grandma was 11 years old, they moved to Borough Park in Brooklyn. Her grandparents and uncles also moved. When Grandma was growing up, there was a depression and many people lost a lot of money. Businesses closed and life was very difficult. Most of Grandma's friends had to leave school in order to work to support their families. But Grandma's parents said that having an education is the most important thing. So she went to Brooklyn College and studied chemistry there. After she graduated, her first job was as secretary for a shul, and there she typed her uncle's manuscript, his book on Shrita. This is the life story of our father, grandfather, and great-grandfather, Avi Mori Elimelech ben Harav Dol Berish Zichonol On August 11th, 1909, in Astoria, Queens, New York, a new candle brightened up the world when Dad was born. Dad's parents moved to the Lower East Side where Dad grew up. Since the family was very poor, Dad's parents could not afford to send him to yeshiva, so he went to public school. Dad told the story that he couldn't even afford a baseball glove, so he improvised one. The family of four consisted of Dad, one brother, Dave, and two sisters, Helen and Lily. Dad also had a half-brother, Izzy, and a half-sister, Pauline, who Dad was very fond of. Dad's father, a rabbi, Sofer, and Rebbe, and mother, Annie, Chaya, worked hard in the years before the Great Depression to run a household. Dad gave a hand, helping out as much as he could. When his father passed away when he was 23, Dad worked during the day to support the family and went to school at night to earn a provisional teacher's license. During World War II, Dad was drafted by the U.S. Army and sent to the Pacific Theater to the island of Attu in the Aleutian Islands, opposite Russia in the Bering Straits, to fight the Japanese. Dad served as a regular soldier and was responsible for operating a huge searchlight and storing it away after Dad's shift. After World War II, in 1947, two years after the end of the war, Dad lived with his sister, Aunt Pauline, and Uncle Willie in Flatbush when a mutual friend, Mrs. Kantrowitz, introduced Mom to Dad. Mom and Dad were married in the Broadway Central Hotel in August 1947. The rest was history for 47 years, facing life's challenges together. 